Well, bug season is upon us here in the Carolinas. These critters can really ruin your nice afternoon in the backyard while you're having dinner. We want to keep your family safe and avoid some of those harsh chemicals. I know a lot of us don't want to have DEET in our products. Uh, it does work well, but we're looking at natural remedies today with Dr. Nita Bajor with Oakview Medical Associates. So thank you for joining you're us. You're welcome. Um, so let's go over a natural remedy of bug repellent that you can make. I know a lot of these items you might even have in your pantry. Right. I mean, there are a lot of natural products that the mosquitoes hate. They hate things that smell really well. Mm -hmm. So for example, we have um, citronella, which is um, from the lemongrass plant, from the mm -hmm. leaves and the stems. Uh, that's found in candles and sprays. We also have lavender oil, peppermint oil. Uh, there's another one called catnip oil, which is a mm. type of a mint leaf. Uh, neem is another one that's not often heard of, but neem oil uh, mm -hmm. is very soothing and it's used for a lot of like bug rashes and viral rashes and things like that. So uh, we also have um, Cedarwood oil is another mm -hmm. pretty popular one. So basically, if you have any of these essential oils, you could mix them with witch hazel, which is very soothing, and create a little spray in a spray bottle, mm -hmm. and then spray that on exposed areas. And it's a good way to um, prevent or the bugs from coming around because it creates like a barrier uh, with the fragrance, and so bugs stay away. Uh, the advantage of natural products is that you can even put it on your arms and then cover yourself with clothing. If you have off or, you know, that contains mm -hmm. DEET, you want to use that only on the exposed areas, not spray and then wear a thick uh, yeah. covering over because that it can increase the absorption. Okay. So that's the advantage Sounds of natural products. And yeah. I know we looked up the recipe, so it's 10 parts witch okay. hazel to whatever essential oil you want to combine with it. And as you said, there's a lot of different options out there yeah. that you can uh, mix with it, put it in a spray bottle, and hopefully that helps you keep the bugs away. So the second topic we want to go over is if you do get some bug bites, whether right. that's a bee sting or mosquitoes or something, what are the options out there to treat those? So what the bugs and mosquitoes do uh, immediately is they create an infl inflammatory response so the area becomes red swollen hot itchy painful mm -hmm. so first thing you if you have ice around like you know ice in the cooler ice. get some okay. ice and just cool the area nice. first then you want to get something that can stop the itching so hydrocortisone mm -hmm. uh, cortate is a very common one just apply that to the area the bug yeah, bite that's what we have right and then here. you can ice it again um, on that you can actually use calamine lotion caladryl which oh, is okay. like that pink solution mm -hmm. uh, that's very soothing and calming um, nowadays they even have anesthetic sprays like that one I think yep. which numbs up that's the area one. especially for <laughs> kids because it can be very stingy yeah. Uh, my daughter, uh, you know, we like to use, we have a little table with these mm -hmm. kind of things out there. Um, and you also get um, Benadryl and antihistamines in mm -hmm. creams as well. So that's a popular one to use. Um, yeah, I like to have these wipes. I bought those? these because yeah. you can put these in your purse and you can just like always have them on you because I feel like this always happens yeah. when you don't expect it. You're at a baseball game, you're somewhere yes. where you're like, oh, I don't have any remedy. And I know the quicker you get something on it, right. the better it will heal and not get so itchy. I also want to share a personal uh, remedy that I had when we were kids, when any anytime we got a bug bite, we would uh, make mud. Oh. And then put it on the bug bite, put it on um, like a sting, like a bee sting. Okay. And then as the mud dried, it actually helps suck out yes. some of the poison or the venom. So that seemed to work for us. Um, do you have any other like natural yeah. remedies like that? It, it scientifically does work because clay and mud are um, hygroscopic. So they attract swelling and they, they suck up the water and swelling mm -hmm. in any tissue. So if you put that on, plus it's very cooling, right? Yeah. Clay and mud, so it's going to help in many ways. So yeah, that's a cool tip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> hopefully that helps some out there yeah. as well. Prevention so. is the key. So try yeah, and mud is everywhere. So I mean, you're probably getting a bee sting out in you know in, the in yard, nature, and then get and the then mud. just make some mud and put it on and let it dry. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Dr. Bajor. You're welcome. Thank you.